Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. I've built a VIP pregnancy ward. I was inspired by the pregnancy of Cinderella and the fact that she must have been in a really beautiful hospital. So I thought there would be a pregnancy ward in my town for Sims that can afford it. <laughs> so I have a traditional roof. I've used lots of the snow lodge windows and sort of placed them in different ways on top and at the bottom just to give that look and then we have the line of windows running from top to bottom which I quite like it looks like the building's been sliced in three places <laughs> I have some areas out back for the pregnant woman to sit out with their families um, just to enjoy the outdoors because it's on a small plot and I love this plot because of the pink trees all around and of course we have again some windows running from top to bottom the build is ever so slightly asymmetrical just by one grid shorter on the left wing from the right wing and yeah I had to work around some sort of structure on the front to create the roof pattern that you see up top these things are important to me I just enjoy doing that so I have a sim here who's come to visit the hospitals have some kind of appointment and see if she can afford to stay here because she believes she's going to get the best care so let's get Linda in and have a tour of this beautiful maternity ward She's obviously at the six months mark, so she's come here just in time, you know, to, to, to verify where she would like to stay and have her child. As usual, we have the maternity reception area and have used the round rug that you get from the maternity store. You have to be in the nine day process of baby making to get the points you need to unlock these. And there's a drinks machine here. Okay, she won't use it. And I realize that pregnant women don't use a lot of things or engage in some actions in the game. They can't use the salon chairs or the spa items and so on. And now the poor thing can't even have a drink of water. <laughs> well, there are magazines up on the wall and I'm imagining that they are you know magazines about pregnant women I like that these chairs are on the curve of the round rug and there are magazines in that stool area as well so we have the main reception desk you come in here and you check in you've obviously seen the main doctors in the main hospital in my town and you can be referred here if you have a little bit more money to spend so I have a number of things out here uh, there's a little it's a music sort of uh, iPod or something but really it looks like a phone so I placed it there that little black object underneath the light <laughs> and behind this reception obviously is the waiting room we'll have a look at that I mean you can see it already but I just wanted to speak about the reception area and this is how it looks when you're looking at the door that leads into where the consultant will see you and I like placing doors like this because it looks as though it's a double a set of double doors that you open up and then you have the archway that you walk in under as she's doing right now now when you come through that area you have this big uh, bathroom that is also for uh, disabled use now I put this barber chair in here because it looks like a wheelchair somehow so some of the women might be so pregnant they might need this sort of chair in here to wheel them in and to make use of the facility now as you walk down the corridor you come into the canteen the cafeteria depending on what you want to call it it's the place where you pop in and eat all the good stuff <laughs> and get some drinks and of course the kids party event items you know the little food items that you see on this sink is useful it's the chalet granite island it's lovely and it has spaces for you to put things on so if you wanted a microwave in here and a toaster you just have to take off this party cupcake platter here and obviously the drinks as well and then you can use that for other items for your cooking hobby and this is something I like to see a pregnant woman stabbing her face because she deserves it <laughs> I will stop her from that because it's going to take five whole minutes and we don't have that much time I'd rather talk about the kitchen now I've got a lot of comments that come in and it does shape the way in which I do things there is a door that leads into this kitchen usually before I would just close it off and say to you oh well just take off the counter and she can come out you know and I keep her trapped in but no I found a way to make sure there is a door there is a fridge and it's a fully functional space now this is the waiting area we have pregnant women's family members sitting in here again it's a luxurious uh, maternity ward or a VIP pregnancy hospital 
and so I thought that placing these chairs here with a lovely television to watch uh, would be nice so I made it a little bit more luxurious in a way instead of using the plain cold seats that you have in waiting rooms in hospitals or in the emergency waiting rooms in hospitals so this television here is entertaining them while they wait and it's backing that frame in front where the reception is you have to assume that's the picture of a pregnant woman or something <laughs> but yes you know I now will go into the consultant's room. So you have a corridor here and this is the way into the consultant's room. She will see you and she's very posh and she will talk to you about your services and what you're going to get while you're here. And she will also obviously talk to you about your baby, which is the most important thing. <laughs> and yeah, she has a lot of accreditions on the wall. I always do that in commercial builds. We have some rooms here for treatment and for checkups and for monitoring as well. So these would be the ladies that will have family waiting out in the waiting room. And I will, of course, take their clothes off <laughs> so we can see those juicy round tummies. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll just be in uniform and they don't have enough outfits, as you know. I would love for them to have pregnancy dresses. Some of you have asked and said, oh, Cinderella's wearing a dress in the thumbnail. How did you get that? I photoshopped it, of course. <laughs> so we have two rooms and there is one thing I want to point out. There is no glitching in this build, not one. This is important. I want you to understand that you can do this. So what we're doing now is going down to the basement where we have the theaters and the recovery rooms. So I placed lifts here and we do have stairs on the other side but we'll see that later. Once you come through, you come through to the clerk who deals with checking in patients who are about to go into the theatre so they are monitored um, and we know who's come in and we know who's going out. So there's a corridor here and we've got two operating theatres, one on the left and right but you come in through to a scrub room area and this is what we have in here some of us in the game use a table which is what it should be but you can't get a sim on top of that table so <laughs> I have to put something down that means a sim can actually lie down in a position as though they were being looked at and that's why I built it that way and used that particular chair and again I have another barber chair that looks like a wheelchair you know that you bring the pregnant lady sitting on into the theatres and I have another one on the left here actually that would be the right <laughs> left right <laughs> and these are the recovery rooms uh, where you would lie down for say a couple of hours just to make sure that you're stable before you are then taken up to the maternity wards very comfortable maternity wards I might say at least that's what I think <laughs> I'll wait for you to decide so we're going to go back up the lift to the rest of the build. There are stairs that lead up to the rest of the ward as well. In hospitals, you need lifts and stairs. You need the stairs in case of a fire, but we have lifts particularly leading up from the theaters because women who have come out of the theater would need assistance, you know? You don't want them walking upstairs with a big cut in their tummy. So you get onto the next lift and up you come to the first ward. So you have this big space here before you come through these glass doors into the ward and you have a door on the side here that leads out onto a balcony area that you saw when we were touring on the outside of the build. You can come out here and sit down and I decided to place this patch of green on the wall just so that in this concrete type of jungle platform you have some green which is important for the ladies to feel as though they're near or close to nature in some way. <laughs> it's a small plot so I had to inject some of these things in here and there. So you can come in from the lifts here, you're wheeled into a beautiful room and you sit down and you're taken care of by the very best of staff. The colors in this hospital are typically purple and white. Now there are closet spaces in here. You can see that we have a mirror, some pictures on the wall, and the closet spaces are tucked away behind the doors. You know, just think that those are closet doors. So what I'll do is just get her to walk across to one of those spaces right here. So you open up your closet space and there is a closet in there for you to keep your things. And this was a good way to do it. Instead of glitching uh, a door against the space, you can do it like this if you want to. 
because some people are not really big on glitching so this is one way to do it so that makes this hospital completely glitch free <laughs> so I was completely in love with the idea of the purple theme in here uh, for the hospital staff as well this is a hospital member of staff speaking with a father of one of the patients and this is the main reception for this ward there is a sink of course with some bits and bobs in the unit for them to keep their hands clean and sanitized and further in we have a supplies room for this ward where you have all the items and things that are used to keep the patients here completely well looked after there is feeding bottles there is medication there is water distilled water there is all sorts of things that are needed to run this ward uh, adequately there is another room on the side there are two vip rooms on this floor and another set of vip rooms upstairs and we'll see that very soon but i wanted to keep it uniform as you can see that's why the staff are in purple and white the hospital beddings and things you know are mixed in purple and white and we have a very special baby here who was born out of the nine day process so the baby's very sparkly and i can't wait to grow up one of these babies and see how they're not affected by low moods you know i'll see how that works but this is a mum who's already had a child and she's got the same thing you know closet spaces and so on in the vip pregnancy ward the staff take care of the babies they do everything for you absolutely everything there is a beautiful sizable bathroom here in the corner for both vip uh, rooms and i thought a splash of purple underneath the tub would be great with a picture up top and we have a toilet unit that's separated uh, behind that white door where my sim is standing now this is the staircase that goes downstairs and up remember we've got lifts right on the other side um, that come from down and up as well so it goes up this way but we will go up via the stairs this time because we came up via the lifts so there's access on both sides this is the kitchen for this part of the ward some of the mums might want to come out and maybe make a bottle for themselves because they don't see themselves as that posh so they think to themselves oh no don't worry i'm sure i'd like to make a bottle of milk for my child no you don't have to worry i'll get it done myself well why did you check into a vip hospital then <laughs> oh well i suppose it's for the comfort um, this is basically an overview for this floor so you can see where things go if you choose to build this in your town and this is that toilet unit that's separated from the bathroom area that I spoke of just a minute ago so this is what this ward looks like here you've seen the staircases and how it goes up which we're going to do right now and it's a nice ward I could have put in more rooms if it was a bigger plot but there really is no need you really only can have 10 sims in the plot anyway but this is the stairs we're going to take up to the next floor and it's exactly the same because that's what you would expect <laughs> on a small structure like this it could have turned things around but in sims free play it could get really busy and messy if you try to do that sometimes we have a changing station up here as i say the staff do everything for you so they bring the babies out here they change them they clean them up it's next to the bathroom which is perfect it makes sense there is the kitchen again on the side here um and you have the lift so you would have come up to this lift area from the theater area as well um, all the way down in the basement so we have another level up here for you to come out and sit down for the patients that are on this floor of course and it's the same as down below as usual everything is in uniform they've got the comfortable rooms we've got the reception area for this ward and the stations are exactly the same we have a patient in here who's yet to have a baby so maybe in a few minutes a couple of doctors will come to get her and so realistically you can only have 10 sims on a plot so assuming you have four patients four pregnant women would use the hospital then you need two staff on each floor to manage the wards that's six and then you have four staff left to spare the consultant would be in the main office you have one operating uh, surgeon downstairs in the basement you have the receptionist and the lady that mans the cafeteria or the man depends on who you want to use 
and that leaves no visitors whatsoever. <laughs> I'm so sorry that that's your sim limit reached. So I'm just getting the sim to go and pick up the special baby and maybe take her up to the changing stations to make use of those changing tables. I'm sure they work the same way. I hadn't unlocked them when I got Cinderella to have her baby, but I will just see if there's any new actions whatsoever. Most of you already know the answer to that, but I don't. So I'm going to go and have a look now. So I obviously got a number of my sims pregnant and I got another couple of nine day pregnancies underway so that I can see, oh, actually not a couple, just the one, because you can only do one at a time. So I want to be able to unlock more things from the nursery um, or the pregnancy store. So that's why I had to go ahead and get more women pregnant. Now you ask, how do I have pregnant women and have a number of sims on one plot at the same time and how do I have a baby already? <laughs> the questions keep coming. Well, I still know that there are ways in the game to work your way around certain limits and certain uh, restrictions, but there is an outpouring of suggestion that it isn't a wise thing to put this information out on YouTube. So you know i got some of these tips and tricks from some of the groups that i've joined and i think it's a good thing that you join certain groups on facebook and see how they go about these things i can't mention it here but what i will do is maybe put up some information on instagram or twitter even and that way you can get some of the clues as to how i'm able to have more sims still in the game and still have pregnancy running <laughs> okay so i do apologize but I'm, I'm having to understand that it is important not to put most of these things out there um and have it stopped <laughs> okay well this build has no glitching i hope you like it maybe you will recreate it in your town i don't know but let me know what you think about it in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye